Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to Dev Chanel's 48th World. Well, we get down and we have conversation about in and everything dealing with the celebrities and their comings and going. Well, we're getting a hot blazing story from Reality T on Miss Nene Leaks and Mr. Andy Cohen, honey. Nene was saying earlier on this month that she would love. Well, not her exact words, but she said she wouldn't mind returning back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast because she has some unfinished business to attend to. And, uh, honey, she said, but she and Andy Cohen will have to have a sit down and iron out some things, okay? And I'm like, Nene, Nene, you may be saying, open the door, but Andy is saying, a uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 because when he was interviewed about his take on whether you would need to come back or was you coming back or anything of that nature, he just simply said, well, I think it's best for me not to have Nene's name in my mouth. So I'm like, damn. You ain't going to put her name in your mouth and answer the question? He was like, uh, I think I better not put Nene's name in my mouth. So to me, Nene, that was a shrewd and rude awakening that he's not on your side. No, honey, he ain't on your side to bring you back into the fold. Because let's think about what you did to him. You called him an aces. You called him greedy. You called him everything under the sun that wasn't good, okay? And the horrific ordeals you had to go through far as production. You wasn't, you just wasn't their favorite. And then you were talking about ooing, okay? Got your legal team to get out the girl. And you was finna go in. So, do you think that... Mr. Cohen forgot any of that girl. Did you think he forgot about the money that he could have had you making? If you would have kept your mouth quiet and not told the inner sanctum. We call it the inner, um, is it inner sanctum or inner house gossip. You don't go and tell all the comings and goings behind the scenes or what the big people talk about. And how they really get down? You don't do that, Nene. That's why he was like, I will not be putting Nene's name in my mouth. I'm honoring her wishes because she did at one time told me to keep her name out my mouth. So I guess when it comes to negotiating a new contract with you or be in talks with bringing you back to the show, that will help. To require him speaking your name. And at this time, Nene, just like you wanted to boycott Bravo, Andy, any, any um, entity that came close to um, giving you what you wanted at the time that you wanted, when you wanted it. And they said, no, no, ma'am, no, 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 you got to go. Uh, and you had to be let go and said, you know, hopefully y'all could do business in the future. But you know, that was just showbiz talk. They ain't trying to bring you back. No, 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 no. That, that wasn't what the, the, the whole thing detailed. So I don't think it's going to be any red roses and the red carpet rolled out for you and the door being swung open. All right. And you being escorted in. It doesn't look that way, Nene. It doesn't look that way. It's not none of my business or anything. And I know you might be hard up because you needed some funds. But sometimes patience and quietness will get you to the other side, girl. Patience and quietness will get you to the other side. But you were out there swinging from the chandeliers, making everybody who was in earshot of listening to you you told all the intermost sanctified business that you don't tell. And then you sat out there and really just made a fool out yourself. Because you call yourself boycotting. 
Okay, the execs, the show, and anybody else that was connected. You wasn't going to have it. Unless you could have it your way. It wasn't Burger King. You no, know, you can't go have it your way. But, child, Andy, that, that was a cold, hard blow. When I heard him say what he said, or I read what he said, he said to you. Girl, he wouldn't even speak your name. He wouldn't even whisper your name. He just said he would keep his wishes that she wanted for him to do, which was to keep her name out his mouth. So, if he had any inkling of bringing you back or in talks of bringing you back and trying to pitch to the big people, it is worth bringing you back. He just said, no, he's not going to put his name in your mouth. So, without him speaking of you on any platform, which which would be requiring that he likes you and he's going to forgive you for everything you said and all bygones, I'm going to let old bygones be bygones or something like that. But see, then you sat up there and told the business about you help pay for his child's or the child's baby shower. Now, you don't think um, Andy had the money to do it two and three or four times to throw his own baby shower, girl. You sat on live TV and said you did this, that, and the third for Andy. That wouldn't uh, that didn't help your case at all, cause th- and the show don't want to see like he broke mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like he ain't got no money. And thank you for the person that told me, uh, the person I was talking about on my other video that I couldn't think of. It was Anderson Cooper, which was um um. Andy Cohen's best friend. So whoever said that, thank you, thank you, thank you. You got in my comments and you made me think about it. I think that's who it was. But, you know, sometimes when you're taping and doing videos, you forget intricate parts. And that was a very intricate piece that I was trying to bring out or who I was talking about. But it just wouldn't come to my mind. Y'all know I'm 53. Ooh, can't keep too much on my mind. But anyway, yeah, Nene, you sat up there and, and, and told, them, told the man business. And still going to tell the man business. So he like, I can't go to them and talk to her about her bringing her back. Because she ain't changed. She ain't changed one I owed them. Because she sat up there and told my business like I didn't have the money to throw my own baby shower. Okay. I could have threw three, three, four, five, six, seven of them if I wanted to. But she had to see like, you know, she was doing me a favor. You know, forget the other women that uh, partaked in the shower and bought and did whatever. They ain't come out like Nene putting it on blast. He said, uh-uh, we don't need her. She too much of a loud mouth. Too much of a loud mouth and don't hold no secrets. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to hold some secrets. You know, but she don't hold no secrets. So it's like, uh-uh, I ain't speaking her name. I am not. I will not. I shall not speak her name. And she definitely told me not to put her name in my mouth. So I'm going to honor that. I'm going to honor it to the day I die. Okay, so no. No hands. No, no. What do you call it? No hand washing the other hand. Situation going on between her and Andy. He's going to take this for a long time. Because Andy loves holding grudges. He don't know how to forgive and move on. Now, I ain't saying keep Nene in your circle. You can forgive her, keep her in your circle, keep it moving. But, you know. Actions have consequences sometimes. Negative actions do reap the consequences for the better side of things. But if we just go on to reality T and we just sit and uh, see what uh, Alex Doris had brought out on Miss Nene Leaks today. And Mr. Andy Cohen responding back publicly uh, to Nene Leaks in regards to her public statement that she made. Okay, and her interest of coming back, hey, his job ain't too secure. So you think he gonna be fine for you when he and his job ain't too secure? He gonna be fine for himself. That's all thing he gonna be trying to uh, think about is what can make them keep him in the position that he's in, so he don't fall from grace. You see what I'm saying? In the entertainment industry, but uh, the title of Alex Doris um, article uh, he put out. It was titled, Andy Cohen says his dynamic with Nene Leaks is complicated. After Nene says she wants to return to the Real Housewives, uh, says he plans to keep Nene name out his mouth. Now, see, I wasn't lying, y'all, when I said that. I wasn't lying. It's in this man's article, okay? And it's on several other um, 
vlogging uh, sites, uh, YouTube uh, commentator sites, and everybody done did it. But, you know, I, I don't rush to do too much unless I just have to. I just feel it's necessary because I know we all working. Y'all working, I'm working. And sometimes we don't have time to be sitting up here looking at YouTube video, videos and y'all coming over to the house, tuning in to see what I got to say. Sometimes you don't have time. Sometimes you just have to wait till the weekend. And I get it, got it good, okay? You're here now. That's all that matters. Okay, but it goes in to say, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Nene Leakes is the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Always has been, always will be. Even during those seasons that she's not on the show. Nene is the OG of OGs. The Beyonce, the Queen Bee, the one who runs the show. No one can read her like her and no other Real Housewives star has had many hilarious, memorable moments. Nene Lee, Leakes' Real Housewives of Atlanta exit was disappointing. She ripped up her friend's contract with Bravo and Cynthia Bailey, for that matter. After she and the network couldn't reach an agreement about her return, her exit brought drama, particularly with Nene throwing accusations. Okay. At Andy Cohen, the one she's saying she wants to get her back in the door. That's not going to happen. Girl. I don't know what had to happen, but that had to happen. But I think he was more like hell gonna freeze over. And hell is hot from what I understand. Hell will have to freeze over for Andy Cohen throw her out of the branch. I'm just saying, keeping it real. Uh, going back to the article, it said um for the way her negotiations were handed down. But now that some time has passed, Nene has expressed an interest in returning to the show. Please let it be true. Nene can be a damn mess, but she's our damn mess. And the show is always better with her on it. Okay, Nene recently said she considered returning, but she and Andy would have to have a sit-down conversation beforehand after everything went down. Nene is in a new phase of her life. Greg Leakes recently passed away after a long battle with cancer, and she's adjusting. And, of course, Andy has expressed his condolences for Nene and her family. But while Nene seems gun-ho about a comeback, Andy isn't so sure. I know, it. I know it. Oh, I will have to... Ooh, I had to take me a cruise around the world and come back and think about that. And then I might have to take a, a flight out somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And so, ooh, my destination trips are not... Um, are not uh, done because I, every time I think about the ideal of her calling me an aces, okay, and that she paid for my baby shower and all this other stuff, it's just like, oh, do I really want to be bothered with that type of environment? That's what Andy probably said. He's like, I don't, I don't think so. I don't, uh -uh, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. Cause you know, Andy got that female and male. Hormones going on, and he just don't know which one to wrestle with. And right now, he in the petty boots, but he's acting just like a woman right now. He's just acting like a woman. He's just hell bent on not seeing it for Nene right now. And I, I get it. I get it. I just like I want Phaedra back, and Candy can't get over it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, do hell I have to really freeze over for people to forgive and move on and let people continue to make their money? I guess so. Because uh, right now, Nene ain't making no money. Not on Bravo. Not if Andy County Cohen has something to say with it. And Faye Shaw ain't getting back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Just as long as uh, um, Candy has dug her heels in and she's staying put. Faye don't have a, 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 a place in the Real Housewives of Atlanta upcoming uh, events either. And she can go play with them. I don't know. That show they just put together and throw it together and put Cynthia over there with the rest of the uh, uh, OGs. Uh, I don't know because I'm not watching it. Y'all have to come over here on the platform and tell me. Give me some reviews on that show because I, I, I don't plan on watching it. I just don't want to. It just seems like boring caddy and it's going to you know let me go to sleep early. Just, you know how you just fall asleep on the television program and then you wake up, it's gone, or the TV just uh, giving you that, what do you call it? That blank, uh, we're not smoky. It's like, hell, I don't know what it's called. But, you know, it's like white and black and it's just frizzy. You know what I'm saying? That kind of, like, the shows have gone off and they don't know what else to broadcast. They just give you that white noise. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, 
it says Andy responded to Nene comments on his series XM show. Andy Cohen lied by saying the situation between them is and always have been complicated. I don't know how complicated it was when she was, you know, gone home with the LGBT LGBT community and hanging out with um that group of individuals and, and, and you know i don't know why y'all uh, brought her in the circuit in the first place because you know how nini is she she just wish you watch it but you brought her on into the circle and you were fine with them and then i don't know what happened i don't know because you know y'all ain't gonna show us too much we just have to see it when it happens and we make our speculations and our opinions and we do reviews on it you know what i'm saying i'll give our opinions on it but we don't know what really went down other than she publicly getting mad and y'all wouldn't pay her what she felt she was worth. And, you know, of course, we know she got the big head, just like the Bamba Pump got the big head, just like uh, Giselle over there and uh, Platonic getting the big head. Karen got the big head. You know, it's just, and then they, you know, you know, they're not doing anything to make all this ridiculous money. But this is where they don't sold their souls to partake in. This is their livelihood. This is how they get down. So, they, of course, they're going to try to protect it as much as they can. But you can't act it on a fool. You can't go against the grain and expect them to keep you in your position. Now, that's just straight talk. That's just straight talk. Okay, but going back to the article, it says, um, he was saying the, comp the situation was complicated. Um, he the heavy reports. Uh, I mean, that's another uh, outlet that gives information on celebrity news. They reported after everything that went down last time. And it said he's avoiding any public spats with the ROA. Oh, gee, I think she would probably prefer that I keep her name out of my mouth. And that is what I am going to honor. Okay. He didn't stumble. He didn't freeze up. He didn't have uh, loose tongues when he said it. He said what he said. I need to say, I said what I said. That's what Andy Cohen said. I said what I said. Meaning I ain't saying nothing that has Nene name coming out of my mouth. Now, that's what he said, okay? So, we have to respect it. Nene, you have to respect it because you put it right back to your door that you threw out there at him, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, I think she would, oh, uh, no, and click on. And it said, he's not wrong. Nene has repeatedly told Andy to not talk about her. If there's any hope of re uh, resolve, this is definitely a conversation that would have to be or that would ha have to happen behind closed doors without a camera in sight. Because once the viewers and social media gets involved, we've seen how ugly it can get. And I know it, honey. And I, I don't know what Nene would have to do. I guess sell her soul, sell her children's souls. I, I don't know if her mama's still living. She might have to sell that girl. You know, but, you know, how they get down. They want the best soul that you are really close to. So, that was great. I mean, was that not enough? All right, as payment. Okay, to whoever she worships in the industry, entertainment industry. But that's just me saying it. Just my opinion, okay? Don't get me on it. Just my opinion, okay, guys? But, um, yeah, that's all I had for this video, guys. It was kind of cute, simple to the point. And he responded back. He wasn't mean. He wasn't uh, indifferent or anything. He just gave Nene the same energy she gave him. And he politely told her, I'm going to honor her wishes. I ain't finna put her name in my mouth. So it means saying anything positive or saying anything negative. I'm not gonna speak on her or her name. Okay? And he meant that. So child, unless they gonna clone and he gonna come back somewhere uh, uh be another person. That door is closed, Nene. The door is closed, girl. Especially if the heavyweights or the elites look up to him, or who comes, who goes, or his definite opinion about someone, child, he ain't gonna say nothing. They're gonna say, Andy, what you feel about bringing uh, Nene Leakes back? We want your honest and heartfelt opinion about this, because you spent the most time with her, you know her inside and out, you've been around her, and, um, you know, comfortable behind the scenes as well as on tv filming with her tell us what you really feel now if andy get in his petty boots self feelings and have more testosterone i mean have more 
hormones going around than testosterone in his body at the time when they're asking him this. He ain't got a chance in hell coming back. <laughs> she ain't got a chance. She ain't got a prayer in hell. No. Because Andy going to be petty, petty boots. Okay? And there's plenty of women he can groom that's out there. Hell, it's Marlo Hampton. Marlo Hampton could be a great NeNe Leaks. And I think that's kind of what NeNe is afraid of. Everybody's going to love Marlo this season and going to pretty much forget about her and what she contributed to the whole successful reign, reign of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Which, you know, it is what it is, you know. It is what it is, hell. NeNe made her bed. She's going to have to lie in it. And she's going to have to sell that mansion, even if it go for lesser than what she wanted. She might have to get rid of the Lanethia Lounge, but it may humble her. I don't wish that for her. But if it's causing her any strife or any um, headaches and she can't sleep well by having all that finance over her, and she, don't really, she can't really keep dumping money into it because it's not really what she wants, meaning the home uh, and the... You know, the nightclub she got going on over there. <coughs> if it's not really fair and profitable for her. I mean, she got accountants, hopefully. And good businessmen around her that can tell her, well, what's the um 7 to 10 year stretch? If I keep going this avenue, how much will I have, you know, depleted from my savings? And then she can make a determination of... Uh, about where she want to go from here. But she definitely need to downsize. She definitely don't need that house. And she probably won't get the money that she paid into it. She might have just have to take a, a even split. You know what I'm saying? Just to get from under that debt. When it goes into foreclosure. And then, you know, that'll be another story. For people to be talking about on their vlogging sites. Okay? Just because everything is public record. Unless you try to do like Kenya. And everything she gets into. She tries to have the court seal it. Especially if it's gonna be like um some type of litigation or something okay so it's all about the money <laughs> i know nini uh not having this paycheck is hurting because she surrounded more of her life around what she was getting from the housewives that's why she got those other opportunities to go perform and try to be on the glee or i think i forgot what that show they were trying to bring out but it got canned before it saw the daylight um Shit, I can't remember the name of it. Y'all might know. Put it in the comments just to, you know, remind me of it. But, yeah. And, um, it's a shame. She ain't got no money coming from signication. Uh, when, you know, the show go off for good. You know, you get them checks after the fact. If she ain't in signication with some money being thrown her way. Child, I don't know what kind of con contract you had, Nene. With Bravo. But, y'all, that's all I had on this situation. I had been meaning to do it. But I just ain't had the time to sit down here and talk about it. She got, she got her answer, honey. So, she going to have to, like, try another avenue or find somebody else. But her, with her being so vocal and so mean-spirited or how she, atta uh, how she attacked the situation, um, wouldn't nobody have thought in their wildest dreams, she would try to be knocking back at the door of the hand that she bit off because of her pride and because of her, I guess she felt like she needed to go against them and with her so-called followers or, or admirers of her, sh um, you know, her being on the show, they would do something to impact it where they would have to bring her back. But honey, 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 honey. Ain't it strange how it work out sometimes? Ain't it strange how it work out? But you can't catch honey when you ain't... We can't catch what you want when you using vinegar. If you put some honey out there, okay, and be humble and be patient, you will catch something, Nene. You will definitely catch something. But when you coming out here, dog and folks out and... You know, just like you did Cynthia, you, you, you tow into her and you made it very, you know, prevalent that the stick in our minds that she did not show she wasn't a good friend and da da dee da 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 so now everybody got the worst you know perception of cynthia you know not coming but you know y'all know how i felt about it because i did a video on it 
But you just go, Nene, and you just attack people. And then you tell people what you did for these said people, thinking you're going to get all sorts of sympathy and everybody's going to rally around you and go attack the other people for doing and saying and not doing and saying. You know, it didn't play out that well. It didn't play out the way you thought it would play out. So, Nene, I'm like, whoo, girl. Oh, well, at least you know where Andy Cohen staying, girl. At least you know where he's staying. But, you know. Oh, uh, good luck may follow you somehow, somewhere, sometime. I don't know when that time gonna come, and maybe we'll see you on another show. But it just don't look good for you, girl. It don't look. For, I mean, we already got Milo, we got Sheree around now, looking for her jobs, and hopefully she can produce them for us this season. But <laughs> well, we've been looking for them for the last about four or five years, so I don't think it's gonna be transparent she's not gonna have them so it's just gonna be she's gonna get, loop us into another false hope of something she's partaking in that the community or uh society needs to go and uh invest in <laughs> whatever that may be because we know we still looking for them apparels okay we still look for maybe she, no, she don't need to write no book ain't nobody gonna buy it. Ooh. but anyway that's all i had guys stay tuned for another video and if you haven't Make sure you like this video and make sure you share, share, share. Okay, sharing is caring. And if you love it, like it and got to have more, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. And then you'll know when I drop a video. But other than that, y'all be breezy. See you next video. Bye-bye.